Looking for magic cards? Shop at Flipside Gaming using promo code LVD or find them on TCG Player through my affiliate link. So today the plan is we will be playing in this uh, streamer draft. You can see some of the names that will be participating already. All right, pack one, pick one. Do we want to have some fun chat? Nice uh, Just Guy control deck maybe? It's probably going to be predominantly blue-reds with maybe white splash. And then is there anything we can hope to wheel out of this pack? Maybe like the Off One Minds, Crustacean maybe? Or the Forbidden Friendship? Ben must have opened a pretty good rare to pass Zenith Flare. Didn't think I can pass that up. We don't have to be a cycling deck, we can still be kind of a Jeskai control deck, but just prioritize the non-creature cycling spells that end up in the graveyards, which still go well with Narsets. Anything we can hope to wheel, maybe coordinated charge is just a cycling card that also has a bit of synergy with Narsets. Would be fine, I guess. In terms of like Jeskai control, there's not too much here. Like there's an Anticipate that we can maybe hope to wheel, although I guess there's not too much we would want to take. In terms of cycling, there's nothing in our colors. It's a pretty bad pack. Could take the Anticipate anyway. Or I can take the Titanothorax and maybe pivots into green. I think we can probably wheel the Anticipate even if it's the only blue cards or get more copies later. I'll, I'll stay open and take the Rex and kind of see where we end up. Don't think I'm going to misanticipate too much. We've got a Porky Parrot, Capture Sphere as kind of the more powerful cards here. Keenside Mentor can be okay in the Vigilance deck if that comes together. Didn't think we've got a great setup for the Porky Parrot, but Capture Sphere seems fine as removal spell if we end up in a Jessica Control deck. Don't see any good green cards to go with the Titanothorax. So I'll take a Capture Sphere here. All right, this pack is stacked, wow. Spacifism still in the pack. Footfall Crater and Ambush as good cycling cards. Forbidden Friendship Reunion would also be playable, Blade Banish. So we kind of want every card out of this pack almost. So the Ambush goes well with Narset and goes well with the Zenith Flare. So that has probably the most synergy. Pacifism is very decent removal as well, although I've got a feeling we might end up blue-red splash white instead of white as one of our main colors. Could still splash the pacifism and it's going to be fine. Although it's obviously better if we can cast it on turn two when needed. So for me it's between ambush and pacifism. I think I'm just going to go with ambush and then hope to wheel something out of that pack. It's a pretty late Slither Wisp. Last time we drafted the blue-red or a blue-black flash deck with a Wisp, but I'm pretty happy with another Ambush. Same reasoning. Goes well with Narset as an expensive spell, so we can deal five damage. Cycles for the Zenith Flare. Doesn't look like we're gonna play the Titanothorax, but who knows, maybe something strange happens and we pivot into blue-green. Starling Developments versus Ventosaur here, I think. Not too much of a fan of Will in a creature light deck like this one. Uh, Ventosaur isn't a spell, so if we end up with a Wolverine, for instance, we would rather have Developments to cycle, but of course Ventosaur is a bit better if we actually hardcast it as opposed to Developments. I think I'm still leaning developments, keep cutting off blue, and then hope to get paid off with uh, Wolverines and uh, other cards that care about instants and sorceries. And there's coordinated charge, another instance slash sorcery that we can cycle. And the mana cost is a bit higher than Wilt, so it's better with Narset. Glimmer Bell would also be okay as a 2-drop just to give us some early defense. Could be correct to take the Glimmer Bell because there's fewer 2-drops than 2-mana cyclers and we're probably not going to cast a charge very often. But uh, it is good with a Flare and Narset 
Although I think we might wheel a charge out of the first pack we opened. There's the off one mind, which could be okay if we pick up some copies of the Forbidden Friendship. Or there's the Thunder Main, which could be good with all the cyclers, although it's gonna be pretty tricky to cast on turn two. I think I'll still take the Thunder Main, but it's close. Off one mind is a nice card draw spell for a control deck. Alright, there's a charge. Maybe I misremembered and charge was in the next pack, but I'll definitely take it here. And then the anticipate that we were thinking about even wields, so pretty committed to this uh, Narset deck with all these, and the Zenith Flare, I guess, with all these cyclers and uh, expensive spells we can use a minus two with. Doesn't look like we're going to be a Titan of Thrax deck. So we want to pick up more removal, a couple win conditions like the Pyroceratops and the Wolverine would be nice. And more cycling payoffs could also be fine, even if we're not a dedicated Boros cycling deck. Ooh, wow, that's a gift. So it doesn't look like too many people are cycling, maybe they're afraid that it was going to get hate drafted. All right, well, that's a pretty nice rare to open. We're looking to be a blue red splash white control deck, and this is a, an excellent removal spell. And we can even pay the blue and the white. Snare Tactician, Winds Card Crack, cards we're also pretty interested in. But that's a slam dunk mythos. We're pretty light on creatures at the moment. So that's something we'll need to keep our eye on. Hmm, Sea Dasher Octopus is a very powerful card, but it doesn't seem great in this deck. Since we're so light on creatures. Can maybe sneak in one hit, but it's going to be very difficult to keep hitting the opponent with it. So what are my options? I can take it anyway. I can take Reconnaissance Mission as a cycler that we can probably never cast. I can take the 7 drop as a potential finisher. I can take the cheaper cycler, which is probably better than Mission in this deck. Although Mission has a bit more synergy with Narset. Or I can take the Paraceratops as another win condition. We do have a little bit of synergy with Octopus, with the Anticipate, the Capture Sphere, other cards we can play in some speed. And even if we get a single hit in with Octopus, we're pretty happy. It is also very good with the Glimmer Bell if we can mutate onto it. So I think Octopus is probably still the pick. But there's a lot of other viable options here. Alright, more Frostville ambushes. Tranquil Cove would also be good mana fixing. There's a 7 drop if we need some way to close out the game. We're not going to be mutating Archipelago all that often. Swallow Hole is also pretty awkward if we're not going to have many creatures. So it's probably between Ambush and the land. We have seen Ambush go pretty late, so maybe there's a chance we can wheel it and just take the mana fixing. Yeah, I think the fixing is going to be a bit too important to pass up here, but a uh, close pick. Definitely hope to wield that Frostveil Ambush. All right, Snare Tactician, Rumbling Rock Slides, Swiftwater Cliffs, all decent options. Don't think we're an, a Thieving Otter deck. I think now I'm leaning towards the Rock Slide since we don't have a ton of removal yet, and if we're going to be Blue Red Splash White, Tactician's going to be okay, but not as good, I think, as just the Rock Slide. And then the Cliffs would be a nice one to wheel, although that seems unlikely. Yeah, let's take the Rock Slide. So we've got some decent removal now with Mythos, Fear, Rock Slide. Hmm, Reflection versus Pacifism. Reflection's okay in our deck, but I think I would rather just take the removal spell. I don't think we're going to win the game by attacking with Reflection four times. We can potentially win with Narset or with uh, the Zenith Flare or some other big win condition we can pick up later. Pacifism is indeed on the splash. So it's not as good as a blue or a red spell would be. But it's still good on the splash. And there's another Reflection. Wolverine as well would be nice. Tranquil Cove. 
think it's going to be Wolverine. It's pretty reliably going to be a 3-2 double strike in this deck. With all these cheap uh, spells that end up in the graveyard. Smasher would also be fine. Another Tranquil Cove would be decent. But we gotta start picking up some creatures, some win conditions. And I'm pretty happy with Wolverine. Ben might be a little surprised that he's getting past all these reflections after he passes Zenith Flare. But we're not a traditional cycling deck. Alright, the Frost Links would be fine. But even though the Tactician's gonna be on the splash, I think it's enough better that I'll take it here. So I do need to start prioritizing more mana fixing, since we are creeping pretty heavily into white. Might end up uh, red-white splashing blue, but then cards like Glimmerbell and Octopus don't seem very good anymore. All right, gotta take the land here. Another charge would have been fine, but don't think we're going to be lacking playables at the end of this, so just having a good mana base is important. Let's see if we wield that copy of uh, Frostville Ambush. Yeah, Regal Leosaur is kind of an interesting card. I thought maybe a red-white go-white deck would have been a thing, but red-white just almost always ends up in the cycling deck. But theoretically you could imagine some sort of Forbidden Friendship Leosaur deck where you also have the uh, Liger that rewards you for mutating and going white, maybe play Marshall in that deck too. Yeah, I'll take a Tactician. So yeah, I mean, the mana base is kind of my main concern here. The power level is definitely pretty high, or we might end up splashing the blue, but then I'll need to make sure I pick up enough cheap cards as we wouldn't be able to play Glimmerbell and uh, Octopus. So maybe I should take Sabretooth over Anticipates, just in case. All right, Wield Ambush, nice. Great with our Wolverine, great with our Narsets, great with our Zenith Flare, and the Snare Tactician, so has quite a bit of synergy in our deck. So last pack, what are we hoping for? An extra Wolverine? Maybe some expensive creature with cycling that we can hard cast, like the uh, First Striker or the Ventosaur. Maybe some other cycling payoff card. So White seem pretty open from our seats, getting all these Snare Tacticians. Did we just open another Mythos? All right then. Well, can't pass that up. Lava Serpent, Sanctuary Smasher would be nice cards to wheel. Yeah, this is not going to be your traditional low land count cycling deck since we have all these four mana cards we want to cast. So we're maybe closer to 16 lands with all the cyclers or maybe 15 if we pick up some other mana sources. Picking up Cathartic Reunion would also be nice to prevent flooding if we're going to play a high land count. What is this? Kahira? Can we play Kahira? Probably not. Not as companion at least. So probably not a Wolverine then. Yeah, Wolverine seems good. Something like a Fire Prophecy would also be excellent as a cheap removal spell that also synergizes with Wolverine. So if we do want to play this deck as red, white, splashing blue, these cards probably don't make the cuts, and then I can splash Narset and Capture Sphere pretty much. Probably want to go for Blood to go with the Wolverines as another cheap cycler. Ventosaur, Blade Banish, Frost Links would all be decent, although if we're going to splash the blue, Lynx loses some value. Would love another piece of mana fixing too. Evolving Wilds, another Dual Lands, Farfinder. Our deck is pretty chock full of 4 drops, so gotta make sure we keep the curve low. So this is between Development and Moloch. I think I like Moloch. Could use another actual threat to close out the game with. And it also cycles if needed. Development a little bit better with the Wolverine, but cheaper to cycle. 
a bit better with the snare tacticians perhaps, but could use an extra finisher, and especially if we get one of those expensive cyclers like the Lava Serpent, then uh, it's going to be a nice one to be able to get those back in a late game. Ooh, wow. <laughs> what a card to get, fifth pick. Well, we definitely got rewarded. That seems splash-worthy. Draneth Healer would have also been quite good here. But uh, yeah, not going to pass up on Riel. Narset, Riel, double Mythos of Vadrok. Definitely got all the rares we could have hoped for. Still hoping for a late Cathartic Reunion. Alright, as much as I like to mess around with uh, some jankier cards, I think we just got to take the mana fixing. Another Ambush would have been fine. Friendship is a 2-drop, um, or that could use some 2-drops, but I think I just need the mana fixing. Probably not going to play the Raptor. I do have a couple humans and non-humans, so the off one mines could be decent. Don't think I need a random three mana creature like Glider or Caprador, even if we have a little bit of synergy with Caprador and like Mythos to deal damage to it. Gremlin doesn't seem amazing in my deck. Let's take the Divination. Not sure yet what our exact situation is going to be in terms of colors. If we want to splash the blue or the white. I think we have enough four mana cards here that I don't need to take the Marshal. Can take another random two mana cycler. Could take Turtle for maybe sideboarding against an aggressive deck. But casting it on turn one might be tricky. I'll take the Sails. Yeah, Sails is also just a good sideboard card. Although also totally main deckable in a cycling deck. Alright, nice. We got the Smasher. I was kind of hoping for one of these Smashers or Lava Serpents. Rumbler could also be fine, but we've got so many 4-drops already with all these Mythos, Spheres, Rock Slide, Narset, that I just want an expensive finisher. Alright, deck came together nicely. Did not get the Cathartic Reunion, so the land count is going to be a little bit difficult to figure out exactly. I guess it doesn't matter too much here. Do we have a Tiger in the side? We do. Maybe take a Convolute if we face some bomb-heavy deck where we need a Counterspell. Alright, might actually play the Sabertooth here. I think we lack 2 drops more than we lack 3 drops. Yeah, I mean, we do have a bit of a mix of humans and non-humans. So maybe it could be a sideboard card too. All right, so this is 29 cards, including three lands. So I do need to make a couple of cuts. That's a gift. Quickly checking if we have any synergy with the Cyclone. Don't think so. Just take the cheaper card that also synergizes with Wolverine. So we appear to be red, white, splash, blue. I have two coves for fixing and a winds card crag. The only actual blue cards I need to cast are Narset, Riel, Capture Sphere, and then a bit of blue for the Mythos. So I don't need a whole lot of it, especially if I don't play the Off One Mind. If we do play Off One Mind, we have Riel, two tacticians as humans, and then the rest are non human. Don't think I need the Off One Mind on the splash. Yeah, we don't even need blue for Mythos, it's just nice if we happen to have it. In terms of win conditions, Narset's going to be a big one, Smasher and Moloch. Or just outdrawing the opponents and then get them with Wolverines and Snare Tacticians. If we manage to land Riel, we can definitely pull ahead on card advantage. And then a removal, double Mythos, Pacifism, Rock Slide, Flare, Capture Sphere, a Go for Bloods. And then I might cut some of the clunkier cycling cards. I do like the Sabertooths as just early plays that can also hit pretty hard if we can tap stuff down with Tactician. 
So this is 26, but I still need to make a couple of cuts. So I could put sails in the sideboard as a two mana cycler. That's not amazing with Narset's minus. Charge is like the next worst cycler. Probably leaning 16 land since we have so many cantrips. 60 might even be too many, but we also have Narset that can, I guess, draw some cards. Yeah, flooding could be a real concern if we just cycle, 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 draw lands. Don't have reunion to discard them. And we don't have a ton of mana sinks. So I don't think I want to play 17, but if we go down to 15, then colors could be an issue since we do need all three. But it, it is probably somewhere between 15 and 16. Can probably get away with two islands. Gives me four blue sources total for essentially three blue cards. Or six mountains. And four planes, which would be seven reds, seven whites. Which is not too bad. 15 lands. Got a ton of one mana cyclers, couple two drops. Four blue sources. Only the two islands, so we can still cast our Thunder Main on turn two a reasonable amount of the time. Yeah, this seems fine. So I think I can export this and then we'll be good to go. All right, fine opening hands. Four lands might prove to be a bit much, but we've got a turn two Thunder Main. Black green. Corpse churn hits. Lurker. Always a risky move to corpse churn with an empty graveyard. So it could be a reanimator deck. Oh no, charge kills the thunder main. And yeah, we've uh, hit a pocket of lands. Could have cycled before playing the tap lands and then hope to hit the Sabertooth to play that turn, but it lines up pretty poorly against the 4 drop here. Now would be a good time to draw like a Narset. Smasher will definitely try and cast. Yeah, I'll cycle. If I go for blood with the Smasher, it doesn't line up well against Lurker, plus might be ramping into something else big. So I might want to cycle this in case I find like a Wolverine I can play this turn. Find a saber tooth. So yeah, we're definitely flooding, which was kind of my concern, and why we ended up with the uh, 15 lands. And there's a worm. Just gonna have to pass. Hope to hit pacifism or capture sphere as good answers. I think we passed up on one Cathartic Reunion in the draft, but it was in a pack that was pretty stacked. At least a Smasher lines a ball against Ivy, although they can mutate onto the Ivy Elemental and then I wouldn't be able to block it profitably. Although there's no great permanent to get back. So just gonna go for land. And 
All right, I think I gotta just double block the worm here. Rock slides. <laughs> so close. Well, 10 a little bit too big, even for the rock slide. So we're jump blocking, which doesn't feel great. And a lens. Five, six, seven, eight. It's no ten damage. Yeah, we had a couple of outs here. Even the Mythos could buy us a turn, preventing the Lurker from attacking. Pacifism, Capture Sphere, or just finding a Cycler for the Tactician would have been good. Alright. So how do we want to change for game two? We want answers to big creatures. Although Convolute on the splash is a little bit iffy. Could consider the connection to just steal a big creature and attack for lethal, although we're not really an aggro deck. So the connection would have been way better if we actually had a more proactive deck that could apply a bit of early pressure. There's not much I want to sideboard here. But uh, against those giant creatures, cards like Mythos don't always line up all that great, since 5 damage is not necessarily enough to kill a worm. We will be on the play now, so I think I keep the same land count. On the draw we could sometimes consider maybe cutting an extra land. Alright, this is a bit better. No white mana, but I've got a couple 1 mana cyclers to help us find it. We do have Wolverines in the deck, so it can be better to cycle, go for Bloods, since that counts as an instant or sorcery. But we also might want to cast this, so typically want to hold that one in hand longer. Now we've got a white mana, so I don't need to cycle anything. Is this another charge? Nope. Well, we've got double reds, we've got our whites, we've got our blue, a couple cyclers in hand, so this game's looking a lot better. Might see a corpse churn get back the sandworm. Extinction event would be pretty bad right now, but I think if they had it, they would have cast it last turn. That's fine. Now I could just kill it with Mythos. Or I could cycle now and still kill it next turn just to start pumping Wolverine. Can cast a Moloch and then get back the Frostville ambush just because. So 
So we can just cast Ambush if another creature shows up and attack for lethal, perhaps. Unexpected fangs to gain a bit of life, sure. So let's take a look. 7, 11. Mythos can go face. Although I guess I could cast it and keep the Cavern Whisper tab down. I mean, probably doesn't matter too much here. Because if we don't cast Ambush, then it also doesn't count for Wolverine anymore, since it will be exiled. But yeah. Alright, that time we had a pretty good draw. Had all our mana, didn't flood out too badly. And a good mix of Cyclers and Payoff cards. Could cut a land now that we're on the draw. Cut a Plains, what do we add? Could add a random Cycler like Sails, although don't expect to face any Flyers. Could add Raptor. Didn't see much actual removal that I would need find as one. Can add the off one mind on the splash. Sure. Doesn't look like the game's gonna be super grindy if there's not too much removal. But we can potentially cast it for one mana. And I don't know what else to add other than just a random cycler. Or like a connection, but again, we're not really an aggro deck. Convolute would also be better on the play than on the draw. To maybe counter a big expensive spell. Well, I've got a pretty aggressive opening here. Playing the Thunder Main first could be better if we see like a Fertilid this turn, because then we could cycle and kill it. Not too many other two toughness creatures. Pretty happy to just trade. All right, Dark Bargain. We've got a bit of removal to work with. So we would rather see creatures on the other side than removal spells. That's fine. No, I'm one mana short of cycling twice and activating Thundermane two times. So maybe we can do that next turn. And Rock Slide might not be able to deal with a bigger creature later, unlike Pacifism. I might cycle one of these just to help Pump up the Wolverine next turn, we'll see. Oh no, Blitz Leech. It's gonna take out the Thundermane. Otherwise, that would have been perfect to kill Leech. So now we'll just cycle this to maybe give Wolverine double strike. Alright, not a bad turn. If I just cast this, don't we just win? Because this will have double strike, that's 10. I 
All right, sweet. So, game one, bit of floods, but uh, game two and three went a lot better. We're on the draw. A one lander with two one mana cyclers. So it's a bit risky. But we do get to see a lot of cards before we have to play our second land. I'll keep. And we kind of want to cycle right away anyways to fuel the Wolverine. So it's not like we have a snare tactician where it feels bad to cycle firsts. That's a nice draw. Haven't seen Real or uh, Narset in action yet. Speak of the Devil. Now. Keeping the ambush would have been better if I drew Narset as opposed to cycling development, but casting development is a bit better with what we have in play. Uh oh. This is a sacrifice deck. I remember playing against uh, Topples in Theros, and they also like to draft the Steel and Sack deck. All right, we were very far ahead, and now we're maybe just a little bit ahead. So what do we want to do next? Narset minus seems decent, because then we'll have a Planeswalker in play for next turn. And then what do I discard? Probably the Rock Slides. Hope they don't have the Indestructible trick. Otherwise, pacifism would have been better. So I want a plus. Enlightenment begins within. I'll keep charge as an expensive spell for Narset. Although next turn I can just minus and discard development to kill the bootnipper. Think, then act. So if I were to cast a charge, I would deal 15, so I think I'm going to go for it. Let me help you practice. 
I'm surprised by how often we've actually cast the coordinated charge in the game so far. Definitely pretty good with the uh, Wolverine. So against the red, black, steel and sack deck, just gotta be careful not to play out too many creatures, which shouldn't be too much of an issue. Blazing Volley can deal with Boot Nipper, but didn't see any other one toughness creatures. Um, red, black, no flyers usually. Good considered off one mind. We will be on the draw, so cutting a land again makes sense. And maybe bring in the off one mind. Same as we did last time. Alright, we've got only one cycler this time. No white mana. But we are on the draw. So if I find white mana, this hand's okay. If we find reds, we only need a single land to cast Mythos and Rock Slide as removal. I think on the draw I can get away with this. But it's definitely not our best possible opening hand. Not sure yet which one of these I want to cycle. Probably the ambush. Probably want to cycle main phase. In case I hit a tap land. Although it is tempting to keep this until after we play Riel. So I might hold Riel until we can play her and cycle a 1 mana card in the same turn. This Mythos is also looking good at potentially killing multiple small creatures. So I think the plan now is just to pass, take the hits, not trade, and then next turn Mythos, cleaning up a bunch of small stuff. Perfect. Next room we can play real on cycle. Although I do want to be careful not to run into the tentative connection plus uh, mutual destruction again. So it might be better to rock slide, take away the menace creature, and then wait for real. But I would be fine with the trade here. And then next turn I'll play Riel, can maybe even cycle two things to draw a million cards. It did tap the black mana, which is interesting to note, so there might not be a mutual destruction in hand. Although you never know with auto tapper and its mysterious ways. So I want to cycle once in my turn, and once in our opponent's turn. Probably still hold this, since it's better to cycle before they kill Riel, as opposed to cast off one mind, even though the mana efficiency does matter somewhat. Alright, it's gonna be Fire Prophecy, so now I regret not casting the off one mind. Because if I cycle now, of course, I'm not gonna draw the extra card since we've already made use of it. Hmm. 
In response, probably cycle the ambush. If we draw land, we'll discard it. Snare Tactician. So next turn I can play Tactician, play one mana off one mind. Probably keep the Pacifism. And then I don't think I'm casting Charge. Development is cheaper to cycle. Alright, probably just cast a pacifism. Now pacifism is not great against mutual destruction, since they can still get value from the pacified creature. Next turn we can cast a Moloch and maybe get back. Go for Bloods. I see the Raptor. Nice spell for the Menace. Synergies. So yeah, we'll play Moloch, make sure to keep up Reds. Could also cycle it and just kill the Raptor. But I think just adding a 4-4 to the board is better here. This can be pumped, but not enough to kill the Moloch. And I'll keep land in hand, in case of another Cavern Whisper. Alright, so if I capture Sphere, Coil Bug, attack with everyone, Scorpion Gang going from a Sabertooth, but they would be taking 9 damage before the Scorpion gains life, so that could be lethal. So then they won't be able to block Sabertooth and have to jump instead. Alright, sweet. Well, definitely had some pretty good draws this game. We drew our rares. Our Mythos did a ton of work. Riel did a ton of work. Even if she just uh, stayed in play for one turn. All right, so on the draw, I've got a decent hands. Ooh, a Giruda deck. That's definitely one of the few rares you would take over Zenith Flare pack one, pick one. That makes a lot of sense. All right, we're in for an interesting game. Cycle Crater, I think. Could cycle Ambush for the Wolverine. Yeah, I guess we'll cycle one Ambush. Yeah, Ben was passing to us. Alright, there's Narsets. Uh, 
And let's see if we can put this mythos to work. Ooh, I'm gonna seize, that's a good one too. So I can Narset, kill the reader, discarding development. Don't hate that. Can cycle crater, or I guess I can use Narset for mana to cast Rock Slide, probably over Mythos. Although, never mind, Rock Slide might be able to kill Druida, whereas Mythos might not. And then I can still play the Saber Tooth as well. I think I like that more. And we might see Giruda this turn. So no black seems to be Jeskai. Don't think we have too many evenly costed creatures in our deck. Serpent to pressure Narset will jump. Okay, minus discarding ambush or charge. Or I could rock slide, but I want to keep rock slide for Geruda. Consider we don't have the double blue to cast ambush, but I imagine it's going to be more useful if we actually cast it and charge. And then we've got the lands we need to um, rock slide for six damage. Pacifism, not a good answer. Alright, we'll pass. Now, the Summoner's Seas is still a long term problem. And Mild's are Thundermane and the Tiger Villa. Could have been worse. So let's untap Zenith Flare, could be a good finisher. Keeping Thundermane in play, of course, is annoying since there's probably going to be some more cycling coming up. Second Rock Slides, Thundermane Pacified Geruda. And then hold on to the Zenith Flare to maybe deal with the uh, Kraken later. Now we still need to find a win condition. But at least we managed to deal with the Geruda so far. Wolverine could be quite good. Riel, of course, would be amazing here with Ambush to cycle. It's not a good one. Another Ominous Seas. So I might have to cash in my Narsa to deal with the Rescuer. Yeah, that seems fine. Good plus, and then Sabertooth can block the Rescuer, but there's going to be a bunch of 1-1s one attacking Narset, so we won't be able to make use of her anyway. Think, then 
I guess any non-land card counts, so I can also discard Sabertooth. Yeah, I guess Sabertooth is not doing much for me here. And then I might as well cycle main phase. Not a go for blood. Ah, tactician. Alright, so we can deal with the Kraken next turn. But we are kind of on empty. And eventually there will be another Kraken. Could attack and then Zenith Flare the Kraken before blocks. But then it can still triple block the Tactician and I don't think I want to trade it for Reader, even though I guess Reader is pretty threatening. I'll pass. And then I guess we'll upkeep the Zenith Flare. Although then the Reader can also be activated, so might be able to draw into a counter spell. Let's just do it now. Oh right, they kind of convolute because of Jeruda. Could have a keep safe. So I need to find a Wolverine pretty quickly here to start applying pressure since we had to use Zenith Flare as removal. Not what we were hoping for. And yeah, we don't have that cathartic reunion to discard these lands. So only 12 cards remaining. We still have Riaul, two Wolverines, I believe, unless one got milled. Because, yeah, we did get milled for 4 by Geruda as well. Smasher's not bad, but... Don't know if it's going to be able to close out the game in time. Assa Scatter makes sense. Yeah, it's probably going to be too late now. The reader is doing a lot of work preventing any potential flood. And the readers are also very good with ominous seas. I don't think we have any disenchants in the sideboards that we get to bring in. Ben is on 10 cards in library. We're on 9, so we would also be decking firsts. But I don't think it's going to come to that. There's a Wolverine at long lasts, but we're going to be facing a Kraken, so we're going to have to jump Kraken with Tactician. I guess I'll still play it. Blocking the Paraceratops. Does have its risks, but yeah, at this point, I don't know how we're supposed to win this game. 
Do I have any cheap burn spells to combine with the double strike to kill a Kraken? I don't think so. Don't have any mill effects. Another Mythos would be good. Should have one left. That can buy me a lot of time. Capture Sphere. But yeah, like, how are we going to deal 20 damage in 8 turns here, is a question. And you noticed Ben stopped looting with the Facet Reader a while ago, exactly to keep the cards and library higher than our counts, so it couldn't come to decking. So I could capture Sphere here, I guess I'll still do it, in case I forgot about something in my deck. Ariel. Does have a lot of power, but doesn't trample. Is it worth playing here? I guess so. If we Mythos, we could kill the small creatures and maybe still attack. but there's probably some removal waiting for us. All right, that should wrap things up. So five cards versus five cards. but we're also slowly dying. All right. That was a sweet grindy game though. So Geruda. Does that mean we want to board in Convolute? I think so. Even though it is on the splash, so it's not the most reliable card. Did we see any flying creatures that need to be dealt with? Not really. Don't have any disenchants, which would otherwise be useful. A flying creature could be okay, but that's just going to be the target of subdual and it's not particularly efficient. I think uh, I could consider the of one mind as well since it is a pretty grindy matchup. Card advantage does matter. How good is Sabertooth? Provides a bit of early pressure, not great against the 1-1 one -one tokens. Blazing Volley would be good against the 3-1 but that's about it. It's pretty narrow. Tentative Connection could be a fun one too, to steal a Kraken if there's no blocker. So that's also a potential option. But our main deck, I mean, we have two Tacticians to tap them down too, so I don't think we need to dilute the deck too much. And then I need to make one cut. Don't want to cut a land, maybe a Sabertooth. It could come to decking again, but I don't expect every game to end up like that. Otherwise, we could potentially board in more than 40 cards, but we've got some very powerful cards like Narset and Riel that we want to have in our opening hand. So boarding in additional cards isn't necessarily the best there. This hand's a little sketchy, but I have double red for Mythos already. I need any land for Wolverine. I can cycle charge. So I think I keep... Forbidden Friendship. And 
Next turn we can start double striking. Although there might be a Mystic Subduel here, but another Wolverine's an excellent draw. Could be Assa Scatter waiting for us. If there's Assa Scatter, I think I would rather have Tactician Assa Scatter than Wolverine. Although Wolverine does threaten lethal next turn with the Mythos. Alright, so had we gone for Wolverine, we might have had lethal here. If I cast a Moloch, that could also be okay. But I think I like getting the Wolverine in play here. And then Mythos prevents blocking as well, so that should be able to get across the finish line. So I think I like tapping the 1-1. One, one. Might be counting for Zenith Flare here. We don't need to save a Cycler for Geruda because we have Mythos that can also prevent blocking. Didn't hit anything, so this game should be over. Could have also gone for Cycle, go for Blood, Cast Rock Slides. All right, that went a bit better. Do we still want to keep Convolute on the draw is the question. It's a lot better on the play. And it's not great if there's a turn to Ominous Seas, for instance. But we did see Forbidden Friendship as well, which lines up well against Sabertooth. Could cut a land on the draw. Blazing Volley can deal with Forbidden Friendship and the Rescuer. But is that enough to bring it in? Probably not. I think I'll bring in the off one mines over convolutes. And then uh, try it like this with the extra land. Alright, so we've got a bunch of cyclers, no threats. Rock slide as removal. And then smasher at six. So it's not an ideal opening hand, but I do have all my colors. Does this beat a turn to Ominous Seas? Probably not. Does it beat turn 6 Geruda? Maybe with a Rock Slide. Do get to cycle a bunch here, so my hand's gonna change quite a bit in the next couple turns. I'll try it. Don't want to play the island in case of the 3-2. Uh, Drawing the Tactician is definitely nice, so now I might want to hold on to some Cyclers. Turn to Ominous Seas. Tactician can tap down the Kraken at least. Alright, now that we found Narset, I'm more into cycling to hit my land drops. Double Ominous Seas, alright. I guess I want to cycle developments, because Narset makes Ambush better. So I do have land 4 lined up, so now I'll hold the Cycler. Alright, 
I luckily anticipate doesn't count as actual card draw for ominous seas purposes. Could also work towards Narset Ultimates. Could also be reasonable. Don't know how much many non-creature spells I'm actually going to cast. But we could try it. Because Tactician does do a good job of defending Narsets. It's going to slow down our progress. You must change your ways. Next turn we could see Geruda. So if I play my tap lands, next turn I can cast Smasher. But the Ominous Seas are taking down or up. I think maybe Plussing is still my best bet for now. And we'll keep Tactician to protect Narsets. We might end up just casting these ambushes using Narsets' blue mana. This would have been a spot where having Convolute in hand could have been okay. Although, we're still getting pressured by the Ominous Sea, so just sitting back on a counterspell is not always going to work. And goes for Geruda. Deadmill Mythos Pacifism, and then Day Squad Marshal, which isn't bad here. No attack on Narsets. So... Still have another Mythos I could draw into. What's my plan here? Just cast Smasher. That can hold off Geruda. Hope it doesn't get removed. Or I can cast Rock Slide, but then the one ones are going to start. Attacking Narsets. Another Tactician's interesting. So now I could plus and then just cycle, tap some stuff down. I think the plan is still to try and get Narset Ultimate going. To open the mind, you must first open the heart. Now we'll have to cycle twice if I want to be able to ultimate Narsets. Would have liked to cast Ambush to keep Kraken stabbed down. But if I want to ultimate Narset, I just need to cycle again because I think Ben will be willing to throw away a token to prevent ultimates if I had a spot removal spell here that would have been nice because then I could have killed all tokens Mythos is an excellent draw Alright, I think I just got an emblem here, while we can. I do have Moloch, which cycles too, Smasher cycles, so I could keep stuff tapped down for another turn cycle while maybe plussing Narset. 
but there's a lot that can go wrong. So I think we just emblem and then hope to eventually draw Zenith Flare alongside the emblem to burn our opponents out. And then this turn we can take out some small creatures. I don't hate Mythos and then deal two to the Marshal to kill it. Possible I have to just go face here. And now if I attack, there's going to be a Kraken jumping in front. And I would be forced to cycle in my turn. I think I would rather cycle in my opponent's turn. So we're going to be facing two Krakens. Chiruda first strikes. So I might be able to cast Ambush with a Moloch, so I think I would rather cycle Smasher at this point to tap down the Krakens. Jiruda can't attack. 16 cards left to my 19. Alright, drawing even more cards here. But it also means more Krakens joining us soon. Oh man, back to back Kraken turns here. 12 cards remaining. Alright, so if I cast Moloch, what can I get back? Frostville Ambush, Developments, or Smasher. But I'm not gonna have the mana to cast it this turn. If I attack and there's another Cycler, there's gonna be a Kraken ambushing the Tactician, and that's kind of a disaster. So my play might be Rockslide Giruda. Just hope there's no cycling cards. Attack for four, try and get them low. Can deal two with the uh, emblem as well. And then hope to eventually find Zenith Flare. And then I get to play Wolverine as well. And if there is another cycler, I still have the option of cycling Moloch, but that probably means I lose. I could kill the Kraken, but I think I just gotta try and get as much damage to go face to combine with uh, Zenith Flare at this point. And I hope there's no Cycler. Subduel, alright. It's not too bad, I guess. Play Wolverine. And we'll see what happens. Can take 16. Ooh, Teron, that's a good one against Snare Tactician. And of course in a Jiruda deck, a nice 6-drop to hit as well. 
Yeah, that kind of faults our aggression significantly. Can cycle Moloch. How many cyclers do we have in the graveyard in case we had flare? Three, four, not even that many. So I guess I'll just play Wolverine, pass. Cycle Moloch, can tap one Kraken down. Asa scatter two. Forcing the trade here doesn't seem worth it. I gotta use this cycle defensively. But uh, that's a lot of Krakens. Well, we got the Narset Emblem. But uh, yeah, it was kind of an ambitious strategy to begin with. Had we minus Narset, we could have maybe drawn some extra cards, but long term we still probably lose to the 8-8 Krakens. Not sure if I can top deck my way out of this one. So I can shum the 8-8s. This would be 11 damage. So I guess I can trade for the Teron. Or I can chum the Teron. Is there anything I can draw? Maybe an instant to tap down the Kraken token from Ominous Seas to get in with Wolverine. But in one draw step, I guess I have the... I did board in the draw 2 divination. Or did I mill it? That's still available, so... My out is probably that card into removal spell plus Zenith Flare or something along those lines. Which probably means I chump with Tactician and keep the Wolverine to get more damage in. Coordinated charge. It's probably not going to do it here. Ambush. Well, that's actually surprisingly reasonable here, although not enough to kill. I can attack, and then if there's a Kraken being made, I can tap both down. Hit for 6, plus 2 from Narset, 8. But I'm still dead on the way back. If I use Ambush defensively, I can tap down two Krakens. Block one, but I'm still dead to the rest. So I guess we'll cycle. And a Tranquil Cove. Alright, GG's. Alright, definitely a close match overall. The Ominous Seas definitely did a lot of work. So yeah, pretty fun drafts. Got to see Narset in action. I didn't see a ton of Riel, but a uh, few times she s showed up. She definitely drew quite a few extra cards as well. The Mythos did a ton of work. Definitely killed a lot of small creatures and maybe allowed us to uh, attack past big blockers as well. So. Overall, the deck was very stacked, but yeah, Giruda as companion, pack one, pick one, definitely one of the few cards you'll consider over Zenith Flare, and then if you can build around it, it can be a very powerful payoff, and Ominous Sea is another nice win condition to play alongside it. So yeah, want to thank everyone for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.